Hello everybody. Today is July 1st and I will start some tomato cuttings. So on these Mountain Magic tomato plants I pick a branch. I'm going to use this one right here. And it's got two nodes. And this is where roots will form out of pretty easily. So I trim these two lower leaves off, snip the branch, and then quickly put it in this glass of water. So I've got them um, kind of in this partial shaded area in this tray and it's got water in the bottom and it wicks it up so the soil always stays moist. And these will replace the corn because I'll harvest all the corn here in the next couple weeks and by then these will be ready to be transplanted. A few of the tomato plants have a pretty bad infestation of bugs. So I mixed up a batch of this neem oil, one and a half teaspoons in a 32 ounce spray bottle. And I do a light misting on the underside of the leaves and all over the plant. This is a gray zucchini. And right here, I have the extra pl tomato plant. I just dug a tiny little hole. It's just barely in the dirt. But these are bonus tomatoes. Bonus. It is July 4th and today is when I harvest some of the first corn. It's pretty cool that July 4th is a holiday and this is when the corn is ready to harvest. What I'll do is I'll peel back some of the husk, split it open so I can peek inside and see if there's yellow kernels.
take a piece of wax paper and then I'll microwave it for one minute I take a basting brush some macadamia nut oil coat the corn and sprinkle a little bit of salt. It's a yummy 4th of July treat. Mmm. I've developed a faster, easier way of cooking this eggplant. I put the eggplant skin side down on a George Foreman grill. And I cook it for five minutes. And then after five minutes, I unplug it and let it sit for another five minutes as it cools down. I use this basting brush, some macadamia nut oil, slightly coat the eggplant, sprinkle a little bit of salt on each one, and this is a lot easier than cooking it in a frying pan. It takes a lot less time and it tastes just as good. Harvesting the first beans. These are Blue Lake bush beans. They were supposed to be pole beans, but the packet was mislabeled. When I harvest the beans, I like to wear gloves and long sleeves. I even cut little thumb holes because there's something really grippy and scratchy about these vines. And if I reach in here with bare skin for a really long time, I'll end up with a rash that itches for days. And this section is the rattlesnake pole beans. So here are the blue lake bush beans. And these are the rattlesnake pole beans. There's a lot more pole beans yield wise. Getting the first cucumbers. <laughs> 